全面落实爱国者治港的原则，摆脱了政治争拗。First adopted by the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress in 2015, the National Security Education Day was celebrated today with the theme of a holistic approach to national security. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the event, Director of Beijing's Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office Xia Baolong said Hong Kong finally has the privilege to solely focus on developing its economy, thanks to the passing of the Article 23 Safeguarding National Security Ordinance last month. All threats have been removed, and the city can finally bloom. Citizens' rights Freedom, property, and investment are now further protected, Xia said. At the same event, Beijing's last and office director, Zheng Yanxiong, praised Chief Executive John Lee for turning the central government's hopes into actual action by completing the legislation of the domestic national security law. Li has pledged to step up efforts in promotional and educational work to further familiarize the public with the law. Comprehensive training will also be offered to our officers for better law enforcement, Li said. Ten Hong Kong students showed their pride in being Chinese by sharing experiences of their visits to the mainland. Various celebratory events were held all across the city, including a National Security Day Carnival at Victoria Park, a new sports game event in Wong Tai Sin, and a singing contest in Yun Long named I Love Our Motherland, Song of National Security. Janice Yu, Cable News.